I doing with my life? Hey, it's Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite books I read because of booktube. This list is a little short, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, because I only discovered booktube last year, there still are plenty of books I want to read. There are one, two, three, four, five, six books, or rather books and series. They're in no particular order. I am gonna leave one series to last because it is my favorite. So let's just get into this. The first book, um, it's more so an author in general. That author is Leigh Bardugo. She wrote Grisha Trilogy and Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Honestly, these books are amazing. I first read the Grisha Trilogy actually last year and I really, really loved it. Uh, that was after, like pretty close after I discovered booktube. I got Six of Crows for my birthday last year and then Crooked Kingdom for Christmas. Uh, and so once the new year came, I was like, I have to read these. I read them both and they are incredible. They are so good. Um, so I kind of put the Grisha Trilogy and Six of Crows duology because Leigh Bardugo is an awesome author. And next on the list is the only contemporary I have. I don't pick contemporary up very often. But um, one author that I did pick up last year because of booktube, and that is Colleen Hoover. She writes more new adult books. And the book I'm talking about is Confessed by Colleen Hoover. I really, really liked Colleen Hoover as an author. Um, I do plan on reading more of her stuff, but because I don't pick contemporary up that often, I don't know when I will. So yeah, I really enjoyed Confess. The next book is in the thriller slash horror category. And that book is Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. So this is honestly thriller horror. Like it is just, if you don't know what Bird Box is about, basically it's a post-apocalyptic story where something has come into our world and whenever people see it, uh, they go crazy and they kind of go on a killing rampage. They kill people around them and then finally they kill themselves. The world has learned to lock themselves inside their house and to close and block all windows. And then when you do go outside, you have to wear a blindfold. And I think that's such an interesting concept for a book because you're losing one of your senses. And so it makes the story that much more scary. So yeah, I had to put that book on here because I really enjoyed it. So the next book is in a young adult fiction category and that is Calvin by Martina Levitt. I remember the name now, I won't make the mistake again. I really enjoyed Calvin. I think to be honest, the reason why it's in this list, I would never pick that book up and I ended up loving it. So that's why it's in this list because thank you booktube. The next book I'm gonna talk about is actually an individual book. It's part of a series and it's a really good series. But this book in particular, that is A Court of Wings. Nope, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. This series, so A Court of Thorns and Roses, um, can I just short form to Akatar and Akamath? <laughs> Cause I don't think I can get that all out. So Akatar series is the first book I read of Sarah J. Mass, and oh, uh, so good. Um, honestly, the stories she writes, the characters she creates um, are so good. And I know that this has gotten some mixed reviews, but I'm gonna be honest and say I thought it was awesome. So the last book or series that I wanna talk about, I don't own and honestly, I loved it so much that I would buy them and then just own them and reread them probably eventually. But I don't have the money to just buy books that I've already read. I would love to, but nope. That series is The Queen of the Tearling Trilogy by Erica Johansson. And uh, this series is so good. And honestly, it hasn't had as much love as I thought. Like after reading it, personally, this series has such a complex and detailed plot. It just, Oh, I can't even describe it. I love it so much. I love the main character. Um, I liked her more in the first book, The Queen of the Tearling. But honestly, in the rest of the series, I just was so captivated. One of my favorite things about plots is when there's a lot of flip-flop between the past and the present. And this book does that, but in such an interesting way. I love the series. 
Um, I would categorize it as new adult. If you want to talk more about the series, please ask me questions down below. I'm trying to convey my thoughts, but it's just, it's just coming out in a blur. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as the year progresses, I will definitely read more books that are going to become new favorites because of booktube. So I'll probably do another one of these videos later on down the line. But for now, this is my list. Let me know if some of these are your favorites. Let me know if you created a video like this. I can come watch it. So give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!